Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Hi, I'm Gina and here I chat all things sewing. I do sewing vlogs, fabric hauls, that sort of thing. So if you're really into sewing and dressmaking and that's your cup of tea, then please do subscribe. I would love to have you back. Firstly, I want to apologise for the noise in the background. I am filming a spring and summer sewing plans video today and typically in the UK it's absolutely chucking down with rain. I'm going to be talking through all of my plans for the next few months, all the fabrics I've been buying for when it hopefully gets warmer as well and what I'm going to be sewing, patterns that I'm interested in at the moment as well. As a little bit of a disclaimer, I am probably not going to sew every single project that I talk through right now. To me, buying fabrics and planning sewing projects is completely different to actually sewing. This is how I try and justify it in my head. So hopefully I'll get about 50% of this done, but not necessarily get everything finished. Um, so yeah, don't judge me for that. But just a little bit of honesty there. I don't have all the time in the world to sit at my sewing machine as much as I would love to. Okay, so first plan is inspired by Brogan off of the sewing bee if you've been watching it. She was wearing a beautiful sheared off the shoulder um, sort of puffy sleeve dress. It was really cute and as soon as I saw her I thought oh, I really want another one of those in my wardrobe. I've made a couple before so I'm gonna do that with this fabric which is a lavender um, crinkle viscose from Rainbow Fabrics. Um, it's a really interesting texture because it's got a bit of stretch um, and a little bit of body to it as well. So I'm wondering maybe if I could actually just get away with cutting a straight bodice on this and not shearing it and maybe just adding some elastic channels for a little bit of extra support because the last couple of times I did shearing it didn't go very well and I've fallen out with it a little bit at the moment. So I'm going to elastic channels as my backup plan, same effect, far less effort and stress. Um, so I might do that with this rather than actually shearing it, but I just thought it was so cute. I love this print. Okay, so the next fabric is probably going to be my absolute favourite one that I show you today because it is just gorgeous. Everything about it, the colours, the print, the actual fabric itself. Oh, look at it. This is so different for me. I would never normally sew something this bright blue, but I saw this online and it looked more of a dusky blue and I ordered a sample and as soon as the sample arrived, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's this most beautiful azure blue shade and it's a cotton lawn. It's a really lovely lightweight cotton lawn. It's just gorgeous, it's so different. And this was from Midland Textiles who I don't normally shop with. I found them on eBay and um, they've got some really lovely prints on there actually and this was nine pounds a meter. I was blown away, this is really, really special. Um, so the plan for this, I found a set on Zara. Um, it's got a crop top, sort of v-neck crop top, puff sleeves and then a tiered skirt with it. Yeah, I saw that and then as soon as I ordered this fabric, and saw it, I thought I am going to recreate it. I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but I'm going to make it because it's just so pretty and this is so lovely. I will um, pop a link down to this below so you can shop it because if you like it, I would absolutely 100% get it. It is so, so beautiful. Let's have a little bit of a break from uh, dresses and florals because I think pretty much all of this is dresses and florals. <laughs> um, but the next make is going to be something a lot more practical. I am going to have a go at making my first ever pair of jeans. Now, I'm not a jeans gal. I've never been a jeans gal. I don't like things that are tight around my tummy and I've never found a pair of jeans that I feel comfortable in. So I bought this lovely, lovely light blue stretch denim. I was about to say cotton then, denim um, from the rag shop. It's really, really a nice colour. Um, and a lovely way it feels super soft and comfortable and I'm going to have a go at making my own jeans. I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm not going to make bog standard jeans because I know that silhouette is just not for me, the shape's not for me. So I am going to try and make some pleated jeans. Um, I saw a few of these on sort of Farfetch and Netta Porter last spring and summer and they look really cute. I love the pleats in the front because it's, they're not tight on your tummy, they look a bit more comfortable. Um, I feel like I'll feel nicer in them as well. So I'm gonna give those a go. I think I've found my pattern. I am going to do the Tatiana 
trousers by Just Patterns, but she did a hack to be a pleated pair of jeans and they look so good, really perfect, exactly what I want. So I'm gonna try and make some jeans. Wish me luck. That's enough of the plain fabrics. Let's get back to the fun stuff, the florals. And this one is actually a remnant. It's one I've had in my stash for a while. Um, I've got just under a meter of this. I used it to make a dress last year. Um, I had a big piece of the um, same print in a silk linen, which is absolutely amazing. It's like the most perfect fabric ever, um, but very, very delicate and hard to work with. Whereas this is a lightweight linen, so it's a lot more forgiving, should be a lot nicer to work with. Um, but as you can see, it's a little bit sheer. So I'm trying to figure out what to kind of make with this. And I think top, it needs to be a little top. I'm thinking maybe an elasticated off the shoulder kind of Dolce & Gabbana style um, top that would be cute to wear with my new jeans if I ever get them done. Um, or maybe draping it into something so I could drape it um, over a sort of corset style base or use it for a bustier top as well. That could be quite sweet. But if you've got any ideas, um, send them my way because as you can see, there's a good size piece there. So I should be able to get something lovely out of that. Okay, so next up is the fabric that I'm absolutely going to curse myself for buying because it's one of the worst to work with. But I bought this off of someone else's Instagram page, their Destash page, and I absolutely fell in love with this print, so I couldn't resist. This is a viscose Georgette fabric. It is going to be an absolute nightmare to sew with. I don't know what I was thinking, but I couldn't resist this print. I love, love, love the bold colours in the print. I love this dusky pink background. Originally, I bought this to make something for holiday because it just screams holiday, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. Um, but I ran out of time because I thought I could get everything finished and I realised I'm not Superwoman. So I've got a couple of ideas. Um, the first one is sort of like a halter neck cutout dress um, with a big full skirt. I also thought you could do that as a jumpsuit and that would be really lovely. Obviously, it will require some lining. But that's fine. And or I was thinking I could do the Vogue pattern that's all the rage that kind of looks a bit of a kimono shape um, with the tie belt in the middle and the really deep V. I thought this fabric in that pattern would look really really pretty. Um, so let me know which one you think I should go for with this when I eventually pluck up the courage to sew it. <laughs> On to a little bit of animal print and the Pat Butcher in me absolutely could not resist this leopard viscose from Rainbow Fabrics. I bought it last year um, and it's a really lovely texture. It's got a bit of a crinkle through it, hence the name, <laughs> but it's a really lovely weight as well. Perfect for hot days. Now I'm a bit torn as to what to make with this. Originally, I was going to recreate a Zimmerman dress that I've had saved for ages. that has got a sheared waist, a V-neck, buttons down the front, puff sleeves, all the good stuff. But I've kind of fallen in love with the paper cut um, wrap sort of jumpsuit at the moment. So I might well have a go at making that because I think in Leopard I'll wear it a lot. I love the details around the front. I saw somebody wearing it um, a couple of weeks ago at a party and absolutely fell in love with how it looked on her. So I think it might be a jumpsuit, but let me know what you think. Dress or jumpsuit with this one? I can't decide. A different one next and a bit of a different project as well. I bought this fabric maybe two years ago um, with a vision to recreate a Dior bag. And it's this really, really lovely cotton canvas floral fabric. I'm just obsessed with it. It's such a beautiful print. I love the colors of it. It's got a real designer feel to it. So I haven't been able to decide what bag pattern to make with this yet, but I definitely want to have a go at doing it this summer. So I'm thinking either the Scrunchy Tote by Cool Stitches or instead of recreating that Dior bag, I might do something a little bit different and maybe make the Pisa bow bag um, by Kate Eva Designs, but do a bigger version of it. Or maybe just a regular tote bag with this one, a throw over the shoulder and let the print do the talking. Okay, so next up, something a little bit more practical for summer. I am going to be making some swimwear. Just before holiday, I had my first experience of making swimwear and I absolutely loved it. 
it was a little bit tricky I'm not gonna lie but because I have an overlocker I think that really helped um, but I bought this um, swimwear fabric from the new craft house at the Stitch Festival I started making a bikini with it um, and it didn't quite go to plan I started doing the love and lace um, wrap top and it just it offered no support to me whatsoever it just wasn't it wasn't very practical so I had to kind of put that one in the bin and then I started making a hack of the Amy bottoms which I made before in leopard and absolutely loved um, but I think I didn't follow the instructions properly and I couldn't turn them out the right way <laughs> so I need to go back and fix those but I also need to redo the top situation so I ordered a little bit more of this swimwear fabric because they had it still in stock it's this beautiful like matcha green swimwear fabric and I've seen a bikini top online um, that's kind of got ruched cups it's underwired it's got thick straps that cross at the back it's really really cute so I'm going to try and at some point recreate that. Um, I think it will be really beautiful and it will tie in quite nicely with the ruched bottoms as well. So I'll probably just find a regular bra pattern for that one and hack it, um, add some draping to the top and things. But yeah, I'm excited to do a little bit more swimwear sewing. Never thought I'd say that, to be honest. <laughs> Last fabric and shock, it's a floral and shock, it's pink. <laughs> this is a Visco Chalet from Fabrics by Chalier. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got like a little bit of mauve running through it, a little bit of lilac, this really bold fuchsia pink print. It's got the most lovely drape. I bought this last year and I made my daughter a play suit out of it, which was absolutely adorable. Um, but I wasn't sure what to make for myself because this is super girly. Um, and I thought about making a milkmaid dress, but I thought it might just be a little bit too much. So, um, yeah, so it went back in my stash until I found the perfect plan and I think now I might have an idea for this one. So this is going to be a self-drafted dress. Um, I made a swimsuit with two ruched channels in it and ties and a bit of a cutout in the middle and I absolutely loved that. And I thought how lovely would that be as a dress as well and in a pink floral, super, super cute. So I think I'm going to give drafting that a go in this fabric. I think that'll be really, really sweet for summer and something I'll wear quite a lot. Okay, so that's quite a long to-do list and to sew list. So let's see how many of these I actually get done and how many new projects get added into the mix as well. Probably quite a few, but um, hopefully I managed to get some of these fabrics sewn up this summer. Everything I can, I will link down below so you can shop the patterns and the fabrics yourself. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Happy sewing.